Hello, I'm Mikana Staff. This is your elf Shay. I decided to make a video tutorial for you um, with using Kahoot, which was our tech tip of the last few weeks um, with the theme engaged teachers equals engaged learners. For those of you whose classrooms I visited for St. Patrick's Day, you were fortunate to see this in action. The students were excited to be able to use their smartphones in class. Now, I recognize that that presents a problem for us when we don't have the internet, um, but I promise you that not every week I will uh, present a tech tip that doesn't necessarily require internet access. Um, but for today, yes, we are going to check out Kahoot. So let's see how it works. Um, Kahoot is a really fun and interactive game that allows students to use their smartphones um, and for the teacher to either browse many games that already exist or create your very own. Um, so I'm just going to sign in. I of course already have an account, but you would just visit this sign up for free button should you not have an account. And I just went to getkahoot.com. Um, I'm being logged in automatically. Um, so you can see here, it's pretty user-friendly. They actually have a tutorial for you how to play a game of Kahoot. It's on YouTube, so you should check that out. Um, but I just want to show you, I have a few Kahoots of my own. Well, just one actually on this account. So here's a St. Patty's Day by El Shea. And I'm not going to show you how to play it just yet, but I'll just show you that I can create different questions and decide on the amount of time I want these questions to appear on the screen for students. Um, yeah, so it's really exciting. So let's go ahead and just play. Let's see how that works. So what the students would have to do is take out their smartphones and they'll get very excited. So make sure you tell them don't go onto Twitter or Instagram or Facebook that this is strictly for Kahoot, Kahoot use. Okay, uh, you can see that it's loading here. Um, and so what I have them do, well, what I do is I click classic and it's going to say ready to join. And you see all of these different devices there. And so the students will be asked to go to this website. Okay, they're going to go to kahoot.it. They'll just type that into their browser, just like they would any website. And they're going to log in with a game pin, okay? So they go to kahoot.it, and then they just type in this number where it says game pin. Very, very self-explanatory. So as the students log in, you'll notice that the number of players starts to increase. So right now it says waiting for players by myself, so no one is playing with me, okay? Um, so we're just gonna, well, we can't start because we have no players, but that's essentially what the first screen will look like, okay? Going to take us back, and I'll try to show you a preview. Here we go. Here's a preview. And so now I think this might work without any players. I just want you to be able to see what it looks like. And then you can decide whether it's worth it for you to make your own Kahoot or try to locate a Kahoot that could serve you and your purposes in class. But it's really simple, really easy to use. So this is what it would look like on the screen for students after they type in Kahoot.it, they would enter that game pin, okay? Um, so we're just going to see if we can do a preview. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is what the screen itself would look like for the students. Kahoot.it, and then they enter the game pen, which is here. Okay, it's different every game. Okay, well, let's see. We can't preview it, so what we're going to do is go to Find Kahoots. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's trending near me. So these are just different games that other instructors have created. Um, let's see what this general knowledge looks like. Okay, so which of these is not a color of the rainbow? Where's the 
this place located in England. Let's see if we can play. So it'd be the same thing. So whether it's a Kahoot that you created or a Kahoot that you're borrowing from someone else, um, it's going to look the same and the process is going to be the same. So I'm going to try to do it on my phone right now just so that we can see what it looks like when someone wants in. And the music changes every time, so this is really fun. So let's see, I'm just putting in on my own smartphone um, 4860720. And see if I pop up on the screen. Okay, it's asking for my name. Alright, let's go here. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Okay, I'm in. Oh, see, there I am. Player one, Shay. Naughty nicknames beware. I don't have your students, but swear words. They might be tempted. Okay, so we're gonna start because there's one player. Okay, so let's see, 20 questions. Are you ready? I'm getting ready. So I'm going to answer on my phone, but you can see how this works. Which of these is not a color of the rainbow? So I have to decide if it's red, yellow, green, or purple. Gotta correct. I'm the only one playing, so this is really fascinating, right? But you get the idea. Let's check. Oh, Shay is beating her own record, 528 points. And so the more, uh, more quickly the students answer the questions, the more points that they get. So I answered really slowly. That was, that was not the easiest question to start off with. I'm kind of embarrassed, but you get the idea. So let's do one more. Where is this place located in England? All right, London, Manchester, Kent, or Cambridge. Well, I think that that's the London I, so I'm going to go with London. And I got it right! All right, very good. And so I just answered that pretty quickly, and so you'll notice I got about a thousand points for that. So I am on my game. Let's do one more, because now I'm just having so much fun. And you notice that uh, the O-U-R is meaning that this is British English, right? So what is the number of different flavors of original Skittles? Oh man! Okay, so I just got it wrong. There are only five different flavors of original Skittles. Who would have known it? So I just failed that. So let's see. Notice nothing happened with my points, right? Okay, so I'm going to hit end quiz for now. Um, if there were more players, then all of them would be here on these different podiums. Um, but students get really competitive and they love this. Um, so I really recommend using it. So the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of show you what it looks like to create your own Kahoot. Um, I know that this is a long video, but I think it'll be worth it for those of you that didn't get to see me in action. Um, so I'm going to new K, new Kahoot. So there are different options. Um, I'm just going to create it uh, for a quiz purpose, just so you can see what we're doing here. All right, let's see. Um, title, let's do, um, oh, U.S. Culture. Description, it's required a brief overview of popular U.S. culture. I might go back to this in the future and, um, and actually make this Kahoot, but I just, for right now, I just want to show you how it works. So you need to just make sure that it's, you have your title and your description and that if you want a picture, you can place that. If you want to put a video there, you can. Um, you should credit resources that you're using, um, either from links or textbooks. Um, but for now, we're just going to do the bare minimum. Oh, you see that it's asking me to uh, select an audience, it's a social audience, okay. All right, so who's the game creator? Let's add a question, okay. Um, who is this singer? 
<laughs> okay. Wow, I'm bad at this right now. Um, who sang the song um, Back Streets Back? All right. So, pretty old, you can see. Now my age is coming apparent, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to give it a 30 second time limit. Answer is going to be either in sync, um, Spice Girls, um, Backstreet Boys, hint, 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 if you didn't know the answer, now you do, or the Jackson 5. Okay, so we're going to select our correct answer here is uh, Backstreet Boys. They sang Backstreet Back. All right, we're going to hit next. And then, so you can see that you continue to add questions, right? And so over here on the right-hand side, you can edit, you can duplicate, you can trash it. Um, but for now, we're just going to save it. One question is enough. All right, let's uh, preview it. Can I do classic? We're loading. Okay, and so then the same process, really, guys. So just go again, have the students go to compute.it and then put in that game pin. And our game pin this time is going to be 497958. Okay, I'm going to enter. Oh, are you ready? There's one question, so let's hope I can get this right. Who sang the song Back Streets Back? Huh, final question. Think hard. Okay, so it's sync the Space Girls Back Street Boys or the Jackson 5. Boom. All right. Yes, I was correct. Again, playing by myself. Lonely elf over here. And you see I won. And notice that my points are pretty high because I answered that pretty pretty quickly, right? Um, so what I really love about Kahoot is that you can differentiate it based on the level of students that you have. So if your students are um, lower proficiency of English, you can make each question appear for 60 seconds, even up to 60 seconds on the screen. So they have plenty of time to think um, or consult with their peers if they're working in teams. Um, Kahoots can be built on any subject matter. We could use this to review grammar. We could use it to create a summary, um, to talk about different elements of composition. I've done that before with advanced learners. You know, and, and the, the greatest thing about this is that kids from you know, ages eight, I think that's when they start having smartphones, right? All the way up to 88 can enjoy this. Um, so if you'd like to have me into your classroom, to do an in-person demo. I'm happy to, but now I hope that you have the chance to play with Kahoot. Thank you.